And the tip of the week this week is creating an occupancy schedule. If you've not done this before and you've needed this, this is a great option in Archicad. Um, and this, what I'm going to show you here is not just for occupancies in terms of uh, these different options. Uh, it can also be used for creating and editing and formatting various other schedules in Archicad as well. Um, in this case, if I was to create an occupancy schedule, I'd first want to start by creating a new schedule scheme. Um, and by typing a name in called occupancy schedule, again, like I said earlier, click new, type in occupancy schedule, um, and select elements as the, uh, 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 as a, the, the scheme type. Once you've done that, you then want to go in and define the criteria. Now, in this case, all we're going to want to do is to actually, um, um, is, is to use zones as our option here. But we could add other options if we wanted to, for example, not show uh, maybe exterior uh, zone categories or not show um, certain categories um, in here. We could add those in for show or not show. In this case, we're just going to say element type is, and we'll select one of our element types here, zone. We're then going to add in different um, uh, uh, different fields. So in this case, we simply go over to our uh, zone. We click this little button here. It would open up and would open up to show the different zone options. And we simply drag those over, add those in. And then by, uh, or excuse me, click that and click the add button. It's just right down here below the screenshot. Um, and then those would then be added into my fields. And by clicking to the left here, I can then move those fields up or down to change their order. And as I mentioned, they can be clicked up or down to change the order. And then the other thing that's really important if you're going to uh, want to display uh, fields that show um, a sum uh, and also show subtotals is to click sums on over here. That's what these are. So this column, so you'll notice that when I add the fields in, these two columns are not active, okay, because that means you need to make them active. So what you're gonna do is to click uh, the E here, that means sum, okay? And then if you click the little flag to the right of this sum option, this means to show subtotals. And then once you've done that, you then go to your uh, options uh, or document menu, go to schedules, go to occupancy calculation, and that's gonna open up your uh, your, your schedule, and you'll see now that we actually have our schedule here. It shows uh, my room number, it shows my room name, it shows the number of occupants, and it shows the area, and then the subtotals for each of those, and of course the total below. One thing it's not showing is yet the uh, actual occupancy type, and that's because we have to actually turn that on, and that's by using the show headline I mentioned earlier. When you turn show headline on, then what it's going to do is it's going to show the headline uh, above here, okay? And that then shows our um, headline for each of these options um, to show the, uh, the actual occupancy type. And then when we place a zone, it's important in order for it to track this appropriately uh, that you go in and first define the category type. This is what it's tracking. So you can create your own categories, uh, for example, um, in, in the zone tool. So if you have specific usage types that you want to track as part of your occupancy calculations or area calculations, you can place those in here and then it will track those. And then if you want to track occupancy, it's important that you um, define what, how you want to track that occupancy. It's going to be defined by occupancy by area. If that's um, the case, you click on, and then it will. Uh, then you can actually say, "I want to for that particular uh, occupancy, I want to then define um, that as eight uh, people per square foot, or ten people per square foot, because this is editable." If that's not the case, you want to do it instead by uh, 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 number of occupants per uh, uh, the uh, usage type. Then you'd want to turn this off. And then this is not editable anymore. 
the occupancy option is editable. So it depends on how you want to track that, but this is where it's getting that information from is under the occupancy option within the zone selection settings. Okay, so that is our um, tip of the week.